Welcome to The Exchange 2021. My name is Stacey Pitts Caldwell, the Center Director for the Illinois Small Business Development Center here at the Chicago Land Chamber of Commerce. I'm so glad you stopped by. In the next couple of slides, you'll find a little bit uh, more about our SBDC, the history of the network itself, a little bit of the philosophy, how the SBDC may be able to help you and your small business, along with some of our 2021 initiatives. Again, thanks for stopping by. Here's a little bit about the history of the Illinois Small Business Development Center's um, concept. Back in the 1940s, if we trace back that far, and there was some congressional legislation established um, to provide university-based business extension services. So there was a need for some business services in the university. So that's the original concept. So if we fast forward to um, just about 1979, that's when the whole Association of Small Business Development Centers were born. So the sole purpose of the Small Business Development Center was to become a resource for small businesses to help them grow. And so it usually it used to be that they were mostly in the universities, especially here in Illinois, downstate. And so we do have sort of half of our centers downstate still in the universities, and then we have half in, in Chicago proper. So it's a really great um, program that the SBA has established, and all of the funding for the SBDC network, which is a national network. So you can find them here in, in our state, of course, and every other state in the United States. Um, and it's funded in part through the SBA. So that's why those services are no cost. So what's the philosophy behind our SBDC? You know, at the heart of the SBDC was the recognition that small businesses are the engines and growth of the U.S. economy. And so here in Illinois specifically, 99% of business are classified as small business. Now, what does that really mean? So the state of Illinois defines small business as under 500 employees and under 10 million in revenue. So it is a broad lens, but nevertheless, um, small businesses are, you know, what keeps the economy growing. And so in order for us at the Chicago Land Chamber to continue providing high quality trainings, advising, the resources, and all these growth opportunities for our clients, we partner with funders and sponsors, many of of some who are in the exchange today. And that's really how we are able to provide all of the great services and programs that we do. Our partners actually become part of our engagement strategy. And so we actually reach and work with over 500 small business owners in the greater Chicagoland area each year. And so we're super excited about that. Now, here's the good part. So what does the SBDC do? Well, I have a team of advisors and a coordinator who help to really focus in on strategy and development and uh, developing business concepts, um, marketing plans, you know, legal opportunities, dealing with the city of Chicago and state of Illinois when it comes to procurement, social media planning, all of the things that you might need assistance with as a small business. And so we have a team of three advisors, and then myself, and then a coordinator who really helps to put together some of our specific programs that we'll go into and share with you um, in the next few slides. But at the heart of it, um, the SBDCs are the U.S. Small Business Administration's largest program. So um, there's about 40, or it's probably about closer to 50 now, um, SBDCs in Illinois, a little over 20 in the concentrated in the Chicago land area. And we're really all designed to provide resources, uh, professional advising service. So one-on-one -on -one appointments you can make and they are now virtual. So you don't have to come visit us down in the Wrigley building on Michigan and Wacker there. I know that's a pretty touristy area. Um, so it could be hard to navigate. And during the pandemic, you know, it's great to have 100% virtual services. So we're excited about that. 
Um, we also provide lots of webinar trainings, and um, we really focus on entrepreneurs and small business owners at all stage of business. And all these services and program opportunities that we provide are at no cost for the business. Um, Again, so a couple of things that we have worked with more recently would be assistance with looking for pandemic relief funding, connecting um, small businesses to some of our lending partners for financial screenings, um, also just really making some great connections between the chamber membership and some of our small business clients. So we do quite a bit to assist small businesses. And as I just mentioned, you know, the SBDC is a national network. So how is the Chamber's SBDC different, right? Um, while we are headquartered downtown in, our, in the Wrigley Building, we do leverage the Chamber's membership resources. Um, although a Chamber membership is not required to sign up as a virtual SBDC client with us, and so that's important to note in case you're just looking for um, a sounding board, a professional sounding board. That's a lot of the clients that we see. If you're looking to navigate the PPP process, the EIDL, which is the Economic Injury and Disaster Loan um, process, application process, we are looking to navigate sort of how to, you know, become digital. Uh, we've got a, a great Shopify partnership that's kicking off here for part series starting next Thursday, March 4th. So make sure you find out about that. Um, so that's really how we are unique. Um, Pre-pandemic, um, our model was really hub and spoke, which just means that we partnered with over 15 locations, different smaller business development agencies throughout Chicago and the suburbs to offer this service in different communities. A lot of your smaller chambers or your smaller business development centers don't have the, the capacity to do the one-on-one -on -one advising. Um, and so we, we try to offer and handle that for those, um, for those smaller organizations. We have a successful client engagement and robust training model that is all virtual now. So everything that we're providing is virtual. Um, we, I mentioned the Shopify partnership earlier. It's 100% virtual for part series that you need to register for, but it's focused on helping business go from offline to online, thinking about how to get your products and services sold online. It's a great, great program. My team are all certified business advisors. We're also, um, a few of us are certified as Growth Wheel business advisors. Growth Wheel is an entrepreneurial development program out of Denmark that has some great um, uh, resources that we can share. And then, you know, we service over 500 clients. So we have a, a really great database of small businesses from pre-startup all the way to full growth um, growth scale. So that is really how how the Chamber's SBDC differs from others. Other SBDCs might be focused on um, geographical, so there may be an SBDC in a particular community, and so they're focused on those businesses in that community. There may be a, an SBDC that's, that's focused on helping um, a specific population. So we're all different, and um, I would venture to say, because I lead the Chamber's SBDC, is that we are one of the best, for sure. And finally, for the really fun, exciting part, um, I'd love to share with you some of our initiatives from 2020-2021. Um, and we're super excited about this because this is really where our SBDC shines and that we are able to cultivate programming that is specific to the clients that we work with, specific to some of the results we receive from our small business survey. Um, so here's a list of what we are working on currently. And I'm happy to say that actually um, National Small Business Week, which is in May, we will host some very specific um, webinars and trainings and branding, capital, growth, and customer relations. So that's going to be um, coming up in May. 
we have launched a social media support program uh, for African-American-owned small businesses, uh, micro businesses to be more specific. So these um, these businesses who are, were awarded a social media manager provided, you know, at no cost to the business. Um, they had to meet specific criteria, and so they got to work with the social media manager, um, five selected businesses. So we're hoping to um, open that program up back up in the fall, but so far it's been very successful. We have um, a lot of alignment with the diversity, equity, and inclusion uh, programming that is a collaboration between the SBDC and the Chicago Land Chamber. So there's a lot of activity coming up there. I mentioned earlier, we do have virtual advising and virtual programs, which is something that we plan to keep. So it should be easier to access for small business owners. Um, We also have a few guest business advisors. And so we did that to sort of support the, the level or the amount of inquiries we were receiving during the pandemic. And so each of those guest business advisors has a specialty area so we can match clients with those um, folks. And then also um, we did, we have a special partnership with a chamber member, Cultivate Advisors, who is an um, industry specific professional advising. They're typically fee for service, but they've partnered with us to offer those two free sessions to um, any of our clients, you know, or any of the chamber small businesses to help them also develop and grow. So that's a great program that we have. We have a chamber leadership academy where we partner with all of the local neighborhood chambers of commerce and business development organizations so that we come together and we're providing um, information sharing best practices so that we can support all small businesses and you might already know this but the chambers reach is really the six collar counties so we're not just focused in on Chicago businesses. We do several webinar training, social media marketing, Google for Business, QuickBooks, access to capital, business insurance, on and on and on. And we pull those topics based on what we're hearing and what we're discussing um, with our clients. And coming in April, we are relaunching our legal clinics um, monthly, and they will be virtual. So I'm excited to to announce that. And so we have a great partnership with the Chicago Bar Association, who is you know, giving us a a couple of of attorneys to work pro bono with our clients. So um, those fill up pretty fast. So we have four sessions available in the month and the 30 minute sessions. And so we typically have a waiting list, but we are super excited to relaunch that program here in April. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and and get signed up with us so that you can get the emails when that we start to take applications for the legal clinic. We also will be partnering in the fall with a um, with an e-commerce development program um, that's to help those businesses who have not quite perfected or figured out the best way to get their products on onto a platform, whether it be Shopify or Wix or Squarespace or what have you. So the program allows them to um, have an educational component first to understand the process and then use a test uh, platform to, you know, figure out, you know, how is it going to work? You know, does it make sense and, and things like that. So that's also coming in the fall, as well as financial readiness screens with some of our lender partners that we're super um, excited about. This gives businesses the opportunity to look at their financial statements and see what position they are in before they put in an application for a loan or to request um, money in a formal way. So these are some of the initiatives that we um, we work on. Um, they're really great. We are super excited about the progress progress that we have made with small businesses. And so we hope that if you hadn't haven't heard about the SBDC and you feel like you might benefit from some of our services that you will reach out to us and go ahead and get signed up as a virtual client. How do you get signed up as an SBDC client? Well, you can contact um, me directly by email. My email is right here on the screen um, if you need to. But the quickest way to get signed up is just to go to chicagolandchamber.org slash SBDC. 
and go ahead and click new client sign up. That will take you to our, our form. Once you submit your information there, it, you know, our coordinator will reach out to you and ask if you want to be paired with an advisor, um, probably ask some more questions so that she can get you paired correctly. And then you can meet with us as many times as you like. You can establish your regular cadence of meeting with your advisor. Um, if you have a project you're working on and you just need some advice, any of those situations um, qualify. Um, keep in mind, once you are signed up with us, you'll get our emails and our webinar alerts and our funding alerts that we send out because we're always monitoring uh, pandemic relief opportunities you know, other uh, grant opportunities for small business. So just think of us as the Chambers give back to small businesses because that is truly what we're here for. Again, my name is Stacy, and thanks for taking the time to click through the slides. Um, I'm actually in the exchange somewhere, but um, you might see me in and out, not really sure, but it's great to meet you virtually and hope to hear from you soon.